Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your dryer's door switch. The reason why you might have to do this is because your dryer won't run. For this repair, we'll be using a quarter inch nut driver and a Phillips head screwdriver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the dryer we'll be using. It's a Maytag Maxima X. Keep in mind that yours might be a little bit different than what we've got here, but the same technique should still apply. The first thing you want to do is make sure you turn your gas off. So all we have to do now is turn our dryer around. Now we'll be removing the two screws here holding our top on. And once you've removed those two screws, you can pull back on the top panel and then lift up and remove it. Now we have to unplug these wires as well. So you're just going to make sure you undo this clip here and it'll pull straight apart. Now I've got a block of wood here. I'm going to lift up the dryer. I'm going to slide that block of wood underneath. And I've got four screws underneath that I have to undo. Now the two screws in the middle, you can just loosen those up a bit. You don't have to fully take them out. Now we can slide the wood back out from underneath this. And gently set it down. Now we have to remove these three screws here. Now we'll open up the dryer door and we'll take out a filter and you can just set that inside and we'll be using a Phillips head to remove these two screws here. Now that we've got all the screws out, we'll just be able to lift up on the bulkhead a little bit and it'll come right off. And you're just going to want to make sure that if the wire gets caught in there, you don't pull it too hard. Make sure you get it lined up with the hole and just pull it out just like that. So this entire piece right here is our door switch. In order to get it off, first we're going to pinch this piece right here and get that clamp out. Okay. And now from this side, what you're gonna do is push in on the two pieces in the corner right there, and you should be able to pop the switch right out. So you're gonna feed it back through the front. And there it is. Now, you can grab your new OEM replacement door switch. If you don't have one already, you can find one on our online store. So now we're going to make sure that we feed this through first. And basically just put it in backwards from how we took it out. So once we've got that in there, we'll twist it up and it snaps into place. Then we'll put this anchor clip back in. And all you have to do is just push it straight in and it clips into place. Now we're going to line up the sides of this bulkhead with the dryer. And then on the front, you're just going to put these clips into the holes that they correspond with. Just like that. So now we'll screw in the top three screws. Now put the lint filter back in and we'll close the door. Now we'll plug these two wires back in together. 
Now when we put the front control panel back on, we're going to feed this wire through first. And have it go all the way through that hole. And we're going to set up the control panel. And we're going to line up all the holes on the bottom here. Once the holes are lined up on the front, you're just going to want to push forward so that tabs lock into place. And now we can plug this wire back into the control board. And now we can screw it back down. Now we'll put the wood back underneath. Now we'll put the screws back in. Just make sure you tighten up those middle screws real good. Now if you take a look at one of the sides on the panel, it's got these slots that go all the way down. Those slots correspond to each one of these tabs here. So when you put the top panel back on, you're going to want to try and make sure that those slots line up with the tabs. And as long as everything lines up, the top panel will slide in there nice and easy. And your back hole should line up nicely so we can screw it back in. And once you've got that screwed in nice and tight, you can turn it back around and your repair is complete. Now we can turn our gas back on. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCAppliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.